My name is Anne Huff. I'm a professor of strategy and professional development here at Maynooth. You can tell from my accent that I'm an American. I did my undergraduate in philosophy at Columbia University and then briefly studied at the University of Chicago in aesthetics and social thought. After working a poverty program where I thought the aim was noble but it was not very well organized, I went to Northwestern and studied, got a master's in sociology and a PhD in business. I moved to Europe about 15 years ago because I thought that both professional schools but also society in general in this large and complicated country was not paying enough attention to innovation or to the globalization of society and I've been pleased with that move. My current teaching at Maynooth focuses on innovation. I have a course for first-year students that asks them to identify innovations that they're interested in, everything from the wheel to nanotechnology, and develop several reports in which they try to express those influences to their fellow students and then to an organization. At the master's level, I have a course where teams develop a innovation and then try to understand how that might appeal to various consumers, get it to the point where they can pitch it to an organization or a potential funding source. I also teach research methods, both at the, undergrad, at the master's level and at the PhD level. There's a strong link here to my research interests. I'm in the field of strategy, which means I'm interested in important consequential decisions. My primary approach to that has been cognitive. I've looked at it at a variety of levels, from the individual to teams to organizations to institutions, countries, even a larger unit like the European Union. And my interest in all these cases is how an actor or a group of actors is headed in one direction and then makes a change, a significant change in direction. That's not an easy thing to do. It's not just cognitive. There are all sorts of other technical and social and political factors involved. But it's an important one, and I think that we're beginning to understand something more about how these changes are made. One of the things that's interesting, however, now, especially with the Internet, is that the number of actors involved has really increased. Everyone has access to an enormous amount of information information and more and more people have access to the possibilities of making things themselves so we're in a situation where it's more competitive it's more varied and I think this unfolding situation means that the research that I'm interested in is continues to be unfolding and that's important to me